Today's video is going to be a relaxing real-time dishwashing video with no time lapse. I've been trying to make different types of videos lately to see what you all like best, so let me know in the comments what you think of this one. The weekend before I recorded this video, my daughter and granddaughter moved back in with me for a few months, which means there's going to be a lot more cleaning content coming your way. Today though, we didn't do much because it snowed quite a lot, and in Dallas that means no one is going anywhere for a few days. Have you guys tried this Scrub Daddy sponge yet? I was a little bit skeptical because I thought, you know, a sponge is a sponge and how could a sponge really be that fantastic? But I have to tell you, I really and truly love this sponge. It is like the best of both worlds. So it's like a sponge, like a normal texture sponge when it gets warm, but it's like a hard scrubby sponge when the water is cold. But it also does not scratch your pots and pans and it also does not scratch clear plastic which my old sponge used to do so if you have any clear acrylic that you wash and you want to use a sponge you can use this on that because it does not scratch clear acrylic either Do you guys have specific items that you don't put in the dishwasher? I do, even though my pots and pans are dishwasher safe. It leaves like a white film on them and I've tried different dishwashing tablets to see if that resolves the issue, but it doesn't. So I always hand wash any wooden utensils because you're not supposed to put those in the dishwasher. I also hand wash my knives because I don't want them to get like rust stains and I really don't want them just sitting in the dishwasher. And then I also hand wash anything that's really large like this colander because I want to put as much as possible in the dishwasher and hand wash as little as possible. I know it looks like I'm cleaning a clean pan over and over again, but there's little tiny flecks of like burnt on food from the meatloaf I cooked the night before. So I wanna make sure that every tiny little speck is gone before I put it away. Because if you keep cooking over and over again, even those tiny little specks, your clear Pyrex is no longer clear. It's got so much baked on food. When I started recording this video, my intent was to leave all the background noise in of me washing dishes. But the longer I'm standing in the kitchen, the more people are collecting. 
So my husband, my daughter, my granddaughter, everybody is now sitting in the kitchen and talking to me. So I'm talking to them and I just edited out that part of the background noise so you didn't have to sit and listen to our conversations about the weather. I got this pan for Christmas and I really love it, but it is gigantic. I didn't realize when I got it how big it was and it didn't come with a lid. So I've been on the hunt for a lid. I don't care if it's glass or metal, just really any 14 inch lid. If anybody knows where I can get like a universal 14 inch lid, please tell me in the comments because I'm in desperate need of one. When I first got these European dishcloths, basically they're just reusable dishcloths, kind of like a car chamois. When I first got them from my one of my Grove orders, I wasn't really sure about them, but the more I use them, the more I really, really like it. I use it for cleaning uh, my counters throughout the day. I use it for drying my sink after I'm done with dishes, for drying the, the handles and around the sink. but. It's really great for cleaning the inside of the microwave, the stove top, anything that you'd normally use a paper towel for, you can use this. And then wash it in your dishwasher to sanitize it, or if it gets really dirty, just wash it in your washing machine with a load of laundry. Here's a clip of my dogs playing in the snow. When it first started, I couldn't even get them to go outside, but once they got outside, as you can see here, they just absolutely loved playing in it. Thanks for sticking it out to the end of my video. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like button so YouTube knows that you like it and will send my videos to others who might also like it. And if you really, really liked it, hit subscribe and I will see you next week.